All right, thanks for tuning in. This video will go through installing a MetaMask wallet, adding Binance Smart Chain to your MetaMask as a new network, and uh, also take you through how to buy Transhuman Coin or receive Transhuman Coin or sell or transfer Transhuman Coin. So first, installing MetaMask. So uh, go to metamask.io. This is your gateway to uh, blockchain apps on Web 3.0. And so you'll be able to go download now. You better install MetaMask for Chrome and that will take you to the Chrome extensions and just click on add to Chrome. Yes, you can add MetaMask as an extension. So once that's done, you'll see a little fox pop up at the top of your web browser and uh, it'll ask you to get started. So make sure if you want to make sure you can see the fox again, Go to your extensions in this little jigsaw puzzle and select the pin button so it'll always appear for you on the top right of your Chrome. And of course this time we'll be creating a wallet. Um, if you already got a wallet, you can import your wallet with your secret recovery phrase. And we'll talk about how to keep that secret as well. So in this demo, I'm gonna show you the secret recovery phrase because I'm not gonna use this wallet ever again. <laughs> so create a wallet. Help us improve MetaMask, I agree. So enter a new password, minimum of eight characters. I agree. I'm sure there's some onerous terms in there, but uh, whatever, Web3. So when you create, it'll go through the steps of securing your wallet by telling you you should keep your secret recovery phrase safe. Usually this would be done by writing it down, putting it into a, a safe somewhere that you can keep, like in a bank wallet vault um, or a safe deposit box. And um, well, if you're good, you can memorize it. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that if you ever have to tell that to someone else. So after you watch this short video, um, it'll take you to the secret recovery phrase. So, you know, never show this to someone else when you're creating the account and uh, make sure you keep um, this secret as well. But for the purpose of this video, which I'll never use this account ever again, I'm going to reveal the secret words. And you can see it's 12 random words. In this case, daughter, track, wheat, elite, control, fan, square, shift, swarm, future, assume, and horn. <laughs> Sure you might have seen some uh, comedy sketches where that's the final words that are passed on from the father to the son on their deathbed but uh, enough of that uh, scary discussions now make sure what happens next right make sure you copy this into somewhere that you can use in the short time so let's just use your notepad for now or you can write it down um, it's usually not safe to keep your secret phrase anything digital which you know people can hack you and find the key secret phrases so don't do this but for the purpose of this video we're just going to use the notepad when you click next it'll get you to confirm the secret phrases so again daughter track wheat elite control fan square Shift, Swarm, Future, Assume, and Horn. And in retrospect, that notepad should have been on the side with the full screen, but what can you do? All right, so we've managed to pass that test. Congratulations, all done. Now, now you've got your, yeah, set of MetaMask account set up. It's just asking, telling you what's new. So at the very top, and you can change the name of this account, but very top is your wallet address. So in terms of this secret phrase, again, wouldn't recommend you putting all this into Notepad, but this is the wallet address I've just created, and this is the secret phrase. So by default, you'd see that it's actually on the Ethereum mainnet, right? So I've got one account in this address, it's on the Ethereum mainnet, and uh, yeah, so if you wanna trade on the Ethereum, mainnet you know anything with ERT, ERC20 tokens you can import them here and um, yeah you can transfer Ethereum from any of your centralized exchanges um, to this wallet address 
So that will then enable you to use Ethereum on the Ethereum network. Uh, in this video, we'll be looking to change it to the Binance Smart Chain network. So to do that, get a new tab, search for Binance Smart Chain MetaMask. Right. Everything's available on Google. So these are the instructions of setting up MetaMask on Binance Smart Chain. So connecting MetaMask to Binance Smart Chain. You'll uh, see some detailed instructions in this uh, Binance Academy, but this is the part you're really looking for, right? This is the one you are probably looking for. So these are the details you need to copy into setting up a new network for Binance Smart Chain. So this is uh, what you need to do. Um, essentially go into settings. So there's three little dots here, I believe. No, it's in the account details. Go to settings. And um, yeah, go to, oops, go to settings, and um, essentially add networks. So add, edit custom RPC networks. And uh, yeah, you're gonna add a network here. You're gonna add the network name. So copy everything that's in this Binance Academy article. So network name, smart chain. There's an easier way to do this, but I figured we'd just do it the old school way so you guys can learn what is happening. So you paste in the new RPC URL. Chain ID is 56. So these are all unique for the Binance Smart Chain and other networks. Currency is optional, but BNB, the Binance Coin, is the native token of the Binance Smart Chain. And the Block Explorer URL. So paste that in. That allows you to explore every transaction on the blockchain of Binance Smart Chain. So click on Save. And yeah, that allows you to use Smart Chain. So the Binance Smart Chain, and it has a native token of Binance Coin or BNB. So now you've got your Binance Smart Chain network added to your MetaMask. Uh, the next step is then to uh, import Transhuman Coin as a token. So that way you can see Transhuman Coin when it's been sent to you. So to do that, go to transhumancoin.finance. So this is our homepage. It's a Research and Charity Oriented Token. And uh, yeah, there's a big button here called Copy Contract Address. So you click that and yep, yeah, you've copied the contract address here. So every token has a unique contract address. Um, so that'll copy it to your clipboard and you can then click Import Tokens. Um, so because it's an early project, it's not appearing by default. So you add the custom token and you can see it's automatically popular, the token symbol and the number of decimal places it goes to. So just click on add custom token and you can see this account has zero THC balance, but it's recognized this token as well. So click import tokens. All right, and then yeah, you've got THC added to your account. So connecting with MetaMask, this is um, from the website. So we actually allow the swapping of Transhuman Coin on the swap.swift.pro. So we can actually connect our MetaMask. Just be careful of connecting to random websites, but of course, just because this is a Transhuman Coin Up Finance official website, I'm going to connect it here. And uh, yeah, so now I'm connected to the Transhuman Coin Up Finance website because on the website we are enabling the swapping of any token, pretty much any token. So about over 250 different token pairs that you can swap for Transhuman Coin, and that's essentially how you can buy it. Um, the way that we do it is that um, Swift blockchain essentially is an API service that looks across um, lots of different centralized exchanges as well as decentralized exchanges to find the liquidity to get to Transhuman Coin. So all the different pairs, and essentially it automates the the market making between those exchanges and the de sexes and dexes and things like that. So centralized exchanges and decentralized exchanges. And you can see, you can select whatever coin that you want to start with. So it could be Ethereum as well. So you would just have to switch back to Ethereum. So you can see a prompt when, you, when I selected Ethereum network that we should switch back to Ethereum mainnet. So we can actually switch the network back. Um, and yeah, I can actually select Ethereum to swap for transhuman coin. Or I can use, uh, go back to Binance Coin, Binance Smart Chain, and I can select BNB, which is Binance Coin, to trade for Transhuman Coin. So 
So yeah, you just put the amount of Binance coin you want, you want to swap it for. Obviously, you need to transfer in Binance coin, and then um, it'll automatically calculate um, how much you'll receive. So two Binance coin or one Binance coin, for example, at the moment, gives you fifty. 583,000 transhuman coin. So yeah, yeah, it's a relatively early project and um, we actually make it quite cheap for our users to swap it for. Um, so you can see that the path is through Swift. The reference rate is essentially one BNB for 58,000 something um, transhuman coin. This is their fees using Swift blockchain. And this is how much you'll receive with one Binance coin. So what you just need to do finally is also copy in, just paste in your receiving address. So this is the copy to clipboard of your account and paste that right in. So now that is your um, receiving address and then you just click swap. So if you have one Binance coin in your balance, you'll be able to swap it. And uh, I think with Swift blockchain, it takes about a minute to approve because it needs to go through all the APIs. But yeah, that's actually how you do it quite quickly. The other way to buy transhuman coin is using PancakeSwap. So PancakeSwap is one of the quick DEXs that uh, is on the Binance Smart Chain. So allow PancakeSwap to connect to your MetaMask. Um, so yeah, it's PancakeSwap.Finance. And uh, yeah, you'll be able to navigate and connect your wallet there. So connect wallet, select MetaMask. So if you've already are able to trade using Swift blockchain, then yeah, you don't need to go through this step because you can go just go to our Transhuman Coin Up Finance and do the swapping this way. And it works across all these other networks, right? You can use Polygon, Polkadot, Tron, <laughs> AVAX, Solana, uh, even Bitcoin you can swap it for. And so yeah, there's lots of and Kasama and all those. So it's very flexible. But if you wanted to do the old school way and you, if you want to save on some fees and importantly, if you want to trade anything less than 100 US dollars, which is the minimum trading order for Swift blockchain, you would go to PancakeSwap. And so on PancakeSwap, you connect your wallet. Um, so connecting, oops, it says I'm already pending. Oh yeah, so if you just click on your Fox nose, it's already asking me to connect. So. Connect it there, and there, yeah. So that's your user ID that automatically appears when you connect your wallet. So then you go into trade. So if you click on trade, you can then start swapping on the Binance Smart Chain. So, um, so this is the again the token you want to swap from, and then you want to find Transhuman Coin. So again, because it's an early project. You won't have imported it, but I have already added historically um, Transhuman Coin here with the logo. But because it won't appear for you when you're first starting out, what you need to do, go back to the Transhuman Coin website, copy the address. Right, you can do this on um, Coin Market Cap and Coin Gecko as well for the Transhuman Coin because we're listed there. Um, so yeah, so you can paste the address, and yeah, you can actually once it pops up for you, you'll just have to add that token. So you'll add the token, and uh, yeah, you'll be able to swap Binance coin for Transhuman coin. And again, you can see how much you're getting here. So you can see the fees are slightly less, um, but um, the trick here at Pi uh, Pancake Swap is that um, because of the tokenomics of Transhuman coin. You have to set the slippage tolerance to 7%. So you have to customize the slippage tolerance to 7% because 6% of that is tax and then giving it another bit of a buffer so that um, you know the transaction can go through. And slippage is usually you know because the price is constantly changing and the liquidity is impacted when you're buying transhuman coin that you want to make sure that you have enough sort of coverage to make sure you're not either front run or you know if the taxes um, being paid under six percent so seven percent usually gets you through so once you've done that so you clicked on the cogwheel you've set it to custom seven percent and uh, yeah you should be able to click swap and it'll just ask you to sign in and uh, essentially approve the transaction and yeah that's how you swap uh, on pancake swap now transhuman coin is uh, also listed on centralized exchanges like Coinsbit. So if you don't want to go through this decentralized exchange process or um, use MetaMask, you can just set up an account on Coinsbit. We do have a new uh, white paper that's been released. So if you click on white paper, 
you should be able to see the latest uh, of our roadmap and all the things about Transhuman Coin, as well as uh, all of the partners we've worked with in our donations through the fund wallet, um, how our tokenomics works, our roadmap for enabling lending and borrowing using Transhuman Coin, and our roadmap for the Transhuman D Center, as well as the team. So go check it out. Um, it's got some information as well on um, the current listed uh, ways to buy. Um, but yeah, I think um, hopefully that is a good overview for how to get onto Web3, <laughs> setting up a MetaMask account, adding Binance Smart Chain as a network to your MetaMask, and then uh, being able to import Transhuman Coin as a custom token in your MetaMask and then essentially being able to receive Transhuman Coin this way. So you just copy this public wallet address to someone that wants to send you Transhuman Coin and they'll be able to send it. You'll be able to see it appear here. And uh, yeah, if you actually want to buy some Transhuman Coin, then um, yeah, transfer in some BNB or any other compatible token and you can actually swap it on our website for Transhuman Coin. So, um, cool. All right, hope that helps. And uh, any questions, ping me. I'm on Twitter, at Peter Zing. And uh, feel free to reach out if you know me directly as well. Thanks.